Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be continuing with part two of the Laravel e-commerce series. So I'll focus on setting up the front end, so the basic views and connecting the routes through the web.php file. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so next we're gonna work on the views of the application. So we're gonna create a new home page and set up the product views as well. So we're not going to make it dynamic yet. So it'll just be static. It'll just be a static layout first. Okay. So back here in VS code, what we want to do is look at our view. Okay. So down here in view, we want to go here into app layout. And then the folder that we need to go into is layouts.app. Okay. So let's go over down to resources down here and then views and then layouts and then app. Okay. So we're going to be editing this area over here and the navigation not wait as well. Okay, so first let's let's just remove all this demo content over here. Okay, so down here in the welcome, we can just look over here and we can see that this one will show only if it's logged in. Okay, so this is for the header, so let's just skip that and then let's go down here into this section with the cards and then we can start removing these areas over here. Okay, so let's just move, remove all of this. So where does this dip end here? Let's just check. Okay, so it's this one here, we can just Okay, so we actually need to keep that because of the login. So let's just check over here, the main section over here. So let's just keep the class and just remove the internal links. Okay, so let's remove this. And then the footer as well, we can remove. Okay, and let's save and let's just check the application again. Refresh. Pretty awesome. So it's just a blank application like this now. And then now we can just start adding our front end. Okay, so let's just remove the background as well and then just add like a white background for our area here. Okay, so back in VS Code. So let's first get rid of the, the background. So this one over here, the image background. So let's move that. And let's check out the website. Okay, so it's just a black screen. And, and then let's make a white container. Okay, so here in VS Code, let's just change the background color. Okay, so background, the body, let's change it to white. And then the text is black. Okay. And here in the div as well. Okay, this is just for dark mode, so let's just check that out. Okay, and here as well, so background, change that to white and let's check out website okay great so now our background is white but our text white as well so let's just fix that in vs code just change the text here to black okay so it's over here we need to change the text here to black change this to black so here as well Okay, and then do the same for the register link. Key. Okay. Save that. Okay, and then here as well, change these to black. Okay, and then let's save this and check. 
and then refresh. Okay, great. So now we have our register link. So now let's start creating the containers down here at the bottom. Okay, so back here in VS Code, let's change the logo we have over here. Okay, so we can remove this. Okay, and then just name it e-commerce Laravel. And then again, text black. Check the website. Awesome. So we have our header over here in the center. Now we can start developing the framework. Okay, so down here, what we want to do is create a new section. So at section content, we're going to create a div. And then the class container MX auto. Okay, now just put an H1. Welcome to our e commerce store. Okay, so if we view this on our e commerce site, okay, so again, we're going to get an error because there's no products in the loop. So we'll work on that in a future video of setting up the products, but first we'll just set up the template. Okay, so back in VS Code, so let's just fix the other sections. Okay, so we'll just copy this section here and then paste it underneath and this will be the featured categories. Okay, so it's the same. It's the same, but just change for each and two categories. Okay, and then the only field we need is just a category name. And then over here, oh, it'll show the specific products in that category. So Let's do the category ID and then view category. Okay, so let's save that. Okay, so next what we want to do is start working on the route. So that's the URLs in the application. So it connects the controllers with the views. So over here in the web.php file, we can see our views so what we're working on right now is the welcome view so that's what we edited over here okay so right now we just have a simple request where we'll show the welcome view but let's add some more functionality by creating a home controller okay so what we want to do over here is okay so down here in the terminal let's create a new controller php artisan make controller home controller okay and then let's open that up okay so we have the home controller over here okay so what we need to do is import the models okay so up here you want to select the name of our model so it's over here in model, so we have category and product. So import the product. So app models product. And over here, use app models category. Okay, and then in our controller, let's create an index function so public function index okay and then we're going to request products so let's just get eight products okay get eight products and then the categories we'll get four categories so just watch you don't put an s so category Eight four and then get okay 
Okay, and then we're going to return the view. So the view that we we have is the welcome view. So that was what we named it, the welcome view. And then we're going to compact products and categories so that this data will be passed down to the view. Okay, just forgot to call the view. Okay, so that works. And then now let's connect this to our web.route.php. So back in the routes in the web, then we're just going to edit this. This route over here, so the home route, we're going to call First, we're going to import our home controller. So up here, right above profile controller, we're going to do this app. HTTP controllers, home controller, be okay, great. And then now we're going to erase this. Home controller. class and then index then close that off and close the bracket and then name the route so we're going to name it the home route okay and bracket that off and okay i think this is good and then let's check the website it should still be giving the same error because we don't have the products Oh, okay, great. So it's showing the page now, but again, we're not getting any data as there's no product data in the database. Okay, so let me just add some test data for the products over here. So, okay, so over here in our database, let's just add a product. So give an idea of one, test, test product, one, price, one dollar stock one created and default okay and then okay and then this row has been inserted so let's create another product so two test two test two 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 okay and then insert this row okay and save that and then over here in categories let's do the same thing so one category one category one okay and then insert the row and the next two category two category two okay and the default okay so now let's go back to the application and see if this works okay so let's go back to the application and see if this data is working Okay, so we're getting an error with the product routes.show method. So let's just check that over here in our code. Okay, so here we're getting an error with the routes.product file down here, the line. So let's just return to the home page for now since we don't have those controllers set up. And let's check that again. Okay, so here in the database, we just need to commit the changes. So just did command s over here so let's just delete this row and again over here for the products i'll delete this okay and command s okay so now our data is in the database so now let's check back on the website okay so again with the category that show there's an issue so let me just change that to the home route again okay so here just with the route Change that to home, save. Let's just remove this as well, as well, the products. And now let's check the home page. Okay, so the issue I was having is just, we need to remove the sections section over here. And that's why our data was not showing up. So let's save this and then view our website. Awesome, so we check over here. Now our data is being shown. So we have featured products and then test and then the pricing. So again, we'll modify this to make it look nicer, but 
now we have dynamic data within our e-commerce website. So this concludes part two of the Laravel for e-commerce series. So if you'd like to stay up to date with the series, make sure you like and subscribe to keep up to date with my content. And thanks for watching.